let it out. I'm grateful that she's in my life. Even though I didn't plan this in front of us. And I'm so pleased that... <laughs> Good morning, morning Marvel Moms, how are you? So today I just want to talk to you briefly about my childbirth process. So today is the 28th of August. 2020 a year ago exactly um today i was on my way to the theater room <laughs> where i walked myself and my mom was my birthing partner it wasn't supposed to be that way my mom went with me we were both scared to the wits i mean i was petrified i was scared i was worried i was afraid i thought I wasn't gonna make it this was my third c-section there was so many complications about it i actually wasn't myself i didn't know i had so many problems i was going through mental health oh my goodness and um i man my mom managed to come with me so on our way to the theater we both said nothing to each other when we got to the theatre room and I walked into the theatre and I saw all the doctors there, I knew there was no way I was going to come back. I was... Fear gripped me as I laid on the bed waiting for the epidural, waiting for them to put the injection on and everything. My mom has never seen anything like this. So before that separation, my separation with my partner really separated me from my family, my relationship with my family. I'd broken up because of that. So my parents and I were really on like very difficult ground. I didn't speak to my parents for about and for my mom to come to the hospital with me throughout the pregnancy it was really hard and she came with me and she was scared but you know what as she kept praying and speaking in tongues I was trying to be strong for her so I said, Mom, come with me, please. And she came. We got to the we got there. And when she first saw the first injection, it sunk to her. She's my like my mom. I am her child. No matter what, I'm hers. She just clenched to me. She hugged me. She kept giving me kisses. My mom's not like that. For the first time, I felt like my mom's there for me. She was there for me. She held my hand through the whole process, literally. She kept encouraging me. All I felt was this tugging and pulling inside of me. And, um,. I was vomiting, I was sick, I was dizzy, I couldn't see properly, I wasn't myself, but I didn't cry. The doctor said, oh, you are so full of hair, welcome to the world, and he literally lifted this little baby up into the air. And that was when my mom fell in love. <laughs> I saw 
saw my mom fall in love for the first time. I saw my mom's eyes light up. She looked at her. She followed her, held her. My mom had a first bonding and they gave her to me. That's when I started crying. Everything else that happened afterwards, I can't remember. It took her. This child means so much to me. She brings me so much joy. She brought my family back to me. She brought us even closer than we were before. She's changed the way I see the world. She's given me ambition, hope. I don't have favorites and I would never do. All of them brought something and she gave me that resolution with my family. So today's her birthday. I'm gonna try my best and smile throughout the day. I'm so... I had to let it out. I'm grateful that she's in my life. Even though I didn't plan anything for this, and I'm so pleased that <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> I thank my mom, I thank my sister for taking my children when I was going to the theatre. I thank my dad for driving five times back and forth because they kept forgetting things at home. I thank my brother for rushing straight to the hospital after he found out. I thank my sister Esther encouragement after the baby was born <laughs> my whole family literally <laughs> this video is just to say to my family Sarange Sarange I love you I appreciate you I'm blessed that you write my life. There are so many people in this country who are going through pain. They don't have one person to call. I experienced that and I know the painful bit of it. So to have you, I'm grateful. And thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. Please like the video, share. I'll see you next week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cooking by me. Nartara. Hello, man, can and got that.